Hey coaches, today I want to share with you a 6-3-4 practice that has 6 attackers and 4 defenders who defend the circle. The aim of this practice is to encourage the players to look for moments to attack the gaps when the opportunity presents itself by dribbling into the circle. The setup. The area is a 40 by 40 grid and you will need up to 10 players but obviously be prepared to adapt if you don't have those exact numbers. As mentioned before, the attacking team must look to free up a player by moving the ball quickly to create an opportunity to dribble into the circle. When a player enters the circle, they score a point and look to continue keeping possession by passing the ball to another teammate. The attacking team can also score a point by making five consecutive passes, which will stop the defending team from just guarding the circle or not trying to win the ball. The defending team score by winning possession and dribbling the ball outside the square. Though our focus is not on defending, we still want to encourage the defenders to A. Apply quick pressure, B. Work in pairs to force mistakes, and C. Collectively to try and box the players in. Key questioning. Ask the players how can we create space for our teammates. We should look for responses like by spreading out or using all the space we have. Also question them on what they must do when the defenders close their space. We are looking for things like use different skills to beat players or move the ball quickly or provide quick support for our teammates and most importantly keep the ball. Progression. There are a couple of ways we can progress the session. The one we are looking at here is where a player looks at arriving in the circle and receive the ball. If they don't receive it, then they should look to move back out the area. You can also just keep an attacking player in the middle, or if you have a goalkeeper present, use a goalkeeper in the circle to give them some goalkeeping practice. I hope you enjoyed this video. If this is the case, could you please like, share and subscribe to this channel? Also, if you want to learn my exact method for running a grassroots football team the right way, then download my free guide either in the description area below, or if you're on Facebook, you could find it at the top of my page when you click through. Look forward to seeing you on the inside. Thank <laughs> you.